So let's start this off with a confession. This whole time I've been doing this internet marketing thing, I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things to actually uh, try to grow a business or do something productive in a business. And I've been doing this like seven years now. The confession is this. I'm only really good at like two or three of the things that I've done the entire time. But I'm really good at those two or three things. And it's enough, I think. Yeah. So before we get started, uh, I'm Ben Atkins, and uh, if you don't know me, I am an internet entrepreneur, and uh, this is, uh, I guess, a vlog. This is uh, something I wanted to do to sort of document this process because I've uh, gotten a long way and not documented a lot of it, and I said, you know, this could be interesting down the road. So before we get started with what we're gonna do today, I gotta go get something, hang on. This thing. So this is the guitar that you saw in the way overproduced intro. What today is gonna to be about is something that I see rampant with anybody that is sort of in the market to quit their job or to actually uh, put together a business or a new business. One of the interesting things when you first start out with a new skill, with a new job, with a new internet business, whatever it is that you're doing, when we're kids, usually uh, we have to make do with what we've got, right? Unless we, you know, we're just raised in some highly privileged environment, we have to make do with what we've got. And when we're adults, we typically have jobs because we were told to get jobs after, you know, college or whatever that we did. And so we went and got a job. And so typically, you know, we have at least a little bit of extra money. So one of the things is, is when we have a little extra money, we get into these things that we want to go do. And we think if we throw money at them, that we will solve our problems, right? So I see this all the time with people. They buy courses on how to do something and they don't just buy one course, they buy a lot of courses, right? Before they start their business, they've gotta have business cards, they've gotta have a website, they're gonna have certain pieces of software. And typically where this actually all comes together is, when we start to want to do something, we are inspired by somebody. So we want to use all the things that they use. Uh, for instance, when I wanted to start this vlog, there was two or three people that I was following that I bought you know, the cameras that they had and I bought the lights that they had and then I looked up one day and realized that I was doing something very crazy. And that's sort of where this comes in, this guitar. This is very funny, this guitar uh, represents an interesting part of my life. This is right around the time that I was in high school. This was the first guitar that I actually bought myself. And I bought this for myself uh, from a summer job when I was absolutely broke. This guitar cost me $300. It's a Les Paul, but it's not like the expensive Les Pauls. It's, yeah, if you can catch that, it is the cheaper version. So this was a $300 guitar, and that's all I could afford. And so when I actually got going with this guitar and I started playing this, uh, I didn't have the luxury of buying a bunch of guitar pedals, you know, not a bunch of accessories, not an expensive app. I had this guitar and so I had to get really good with what I had because I had no other options. And this is where we all screw up a lot of times when we have jobs and we're trying to do things is we end up trying to buy our way out of a problem and we never actually master the tools that we already have. We try to get into these things, we try to get into these new uh, you know, businesses, these new skills, and we think by buying equipment or buying courses that the time we're spending with that, the time we're spending and the money we're spending is actually gonna get us to where we wanna go. In all actuality, we've never really mastered anything. So this guitar is a perpetual reminder in my house that when it comes down to it, when I'm playing any sort of music, this is the guitar, this one right here, this is the one that I go to. It's because I know how to do the most with it. It's because I spent an incredible amount of time when I was really poor <laughs> learning how to get the most out of this guitar. Now I've got like five or six guitars now, all way more expensive than this guitar, and I can't do half of what I can do with this guitar as what I can do with those. And so for those of you out there that are kind of in that mode of I'm wanting to start a business, I'm wanting to do something new, I'm wanting to learn a new skill. Sure, you need tools, but 
it's the time you put into the tools. It's the time that you use to actually master those tools that is the most important thing because if you don't master those tools, then you just look up one day and you realize you've got a lot of expensive software, a lot of expensive courses that you've been through, but you don't have any skills. The confession that I made at the very beginning of this first vlog thing that we're doing, I've tried a lot of things since I've been running a business from my backpack. You know, I don't have to go to a day job anymore. I used to, but I don't have to do that anymore. I, I work completely from home. I make a really good living doing it. And listen, I've tried tons of things, but quite literally millions of dollars a year come from like two or three things. And that's it. And what's so interesting is, is it's not all this crazy stuff. It's not all the crazy software. Literally the two or three things that I am really, really good at, I got good at because of practice. And this is what's so crazy. The two or three things that bring in the most income in my business aren't really that difficult or expensive. <laughs> They're just things that I invested in and put the time on, kind of like Good old $300 guitar here. That's the question that I wanna put in front of you and this is what I wanna hear back from you. What is it that you are trying to do right now? Does it really require a lot of expensive tools, a lot of expensive courses, or are you just putting off getting really good at something with buying all those things? Are you just putting off the hard work? Could you just take a step back and put in the time and actually do it? The people that I know that get really big that make a lot of money doing what they're doing, and especially those of us that are independent, you know, business owners, the ones that are really great, that people recommend their friends to, and they have return customers, and they have a really good life, it's because they got really skilled at something. So, that's it, you know, I hope that you take this to heart. I promise that uh, I will get better at this vlogging stuff as we go on, but right now, what I'd love for you to do is, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little bell if you're on YouTube, if you happen to be on Facebook or something like that. You can like the page and you can get reminders when I actually release content. Because I promise I'll get better at this. This is not one of the three <laughs> things that I'm actually good at, this vlogging thing. But I'm gonna keep doing it because I think the stories that I have to tell after doing this for years and you know, sort of building that backpack lifestyle I think there's stories that maybe can help you if that's what you're trying to do. Whether you are the best at a certain video game or you wanna teach people how to shoot free throws or maybe you're a musician that wants to teach people how to play guitar better, whatever it is that you're out there doing and you don't wanna do it the traditional way and you wanna do it from home and you wanna do it on your terms, I hope this is gonna be a resource for you. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in hearing kind of how I do stuff, how I've grown a business, uh, that I can run from a backpack, how we've taken it to seven figures a year, then I would love for you to hit subscribe, stick with this journey with me, and leave me a comment below. All right, that's it. Take care of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Promise they'll get better <laughs> as we go along. I love you a ton, and I wanna hear from you. Be good, talk to you soon.